हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस इंपॉर्ट वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट एल्जेब्रैक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ आर सो व्हाट आर द एल्जेब्रैक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ आर बेसिकली आर इज अ फील्ड सो द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अ फील्ड आर दीज दीज नाइन प्रॉपर्टीज आर द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अ फील्ड एंड आर इज अ फील्ड सो व्हाट आर द नाइन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द फील्ड वी विल डिस्कस वन बाय वन फर्स्ट इज दिस ऑन ऑपरेशन प्लस एंड दिस ऑपरेशन डॉट with these following properties so first property is of first property of plus is a plus b equals to b plus a basically this is known as commutativity right this is very trivial you, you see that uh, if you add any two numbers 2 plus 2.5 this is 4.5 and 2.5 plus 2 is also 4.5 so basically these two are equal right this is true for any uh, general ab in r so this is very trivial second property is a plus b plus c is a plus b plus c basically this is known as associativity this is also very trivial you can take any example of a comma b comma c in r and prove that this property holds okay the third property is there is an element 0 in r such that 0 plus a equals to a plus equals to a plus 0 basically 0 belongs to r we all know and if you add any number any real number to 0 we get the same number right back right so this 0 this is the 0 is called additive identity okay okay <coughs> now fourth property is for each a in r see you have to focus and make and mind these uh, words that uh, in this third property we uh, we have an element 0 for all a in r okay so zero works for all a in r but in the fourth property for each a in r right we have an element minus a so basically if you have uh, a then we have minus a then if you have b then we have minus b <coughs> so for each a in r there is an element minus a such that a plus minus a equals to the additive identity the additive identity equals to minus a plus a this is also very trivial because we have negative real numbers so if you pick any real number which is positive or negative you can have a counter part of it of it that is the negative of that uh, real number whether it whether the given number is positive or negative you have the negative real number corresponding to that and if you add those two numbers you have we have zero right so this is also very trivial <coughs> this dot operation is like multiplication op operation in r and it is similar to the first one this is also known as commutative law okay similarly this is associative and you can check these two properties very easily with the uh, with the operation as multiplication dot is multiplication in r because we are in r so we will consider this dot as multiplication so this second property corresponds to uh, sixth property this third property corresponds to seventh property and fourth property corresponds to eighth property for all a in r again we i am telling you to focus on this word for all a in r we have this element 1 so basically you when you multiply any number with 1 we get the same number right so there is no point of proving this statements these are very trivial and we use it frequently but we do not know what is it so this is very trivial second is for each a in r okay for each a in r there is an element 1 by a such that a into a dot 1 by a is 1 equals to 1 by a plus sorry this is dot okay 
1 by a dot a so what is this called one is called multiplicative identity what is this minus a called minus a is called additive inverse okay similarly 1 by a is called multiplicative inverse okay so these eight properties are very uh, trivial and you can easily check that this property holds for any a b in r okay a b c in r ninth property this is a slight different it says that a dot b plus c is a plus b dot a, plus a dot b plus a dot c so there is a combination of dot and plus and we know that it is very uh, very common we use it in the uh, normal days right in the normal life so for example 2 into 3 plus 5 basically what is it 2 into 8 which is 16 we know that right but uh, when uh, while using this property 9 we get 2 into 3 2 dot 3 will be 6 and 2 dot 5 is 10 which is 16 so uh, these are very trivial properties and similarly uh, distribution of plus over dot distribution of dot over plus these two are basically the counterparts and you can easily check for all a b in r right so these nine properties are the fundamental properties of the algebraic properties of r fundamental properties of algebraic properties of r means r is a field so field has these nine properties if any space any set it follows these nine properties okay then that set will also be a field okay for example complex numbers all the complex numbers follow these nine properties okay so complex numbers is also a field okay we will have many other examples in the handouts we have now discussed about the algebraic properties of r which are the properties of a field so we also have uh, seen as an example of uh, complex numbers right complex numbers is also a field now second example is the set of rational numbers so what are rational numbers we will discuss in this slide okay rational numbers are basically denoted by this letter q okay so what are rational numbers rational numbers are basically <coughs> real numbers of the form a by b such that a comma b belongs to integers and b is not equal to 0 this is the basic definition of rational numbers right so uh, for example rational numbers are like uh, 2 by 1 which is basically 2 2 by 5 9 by 17 23 by 51 dot 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 etc etc 2 by 0 11 11 by 0 these are not <coughs> rational numbers okay why because in the rational numbers we have this condition b not equal to 0 so these are these two are not rational numbers basically these are indeterminate forms why because we will see afterwards but uh, for the time being these are not rational numbers okay but real numbers because uh, q is a subset of r right <coughs> and r has 
many other numbers which are not representable in the form of a by b right we all know right because suppose uh, e exponential function it cannot be written as in the form of a by b okay a comma b does not exist for e right why because e has e has a value 2.718 something something and if you try to equalize e uh, in e as a uh, a upon b then however whichever method you will adopt you cannot have this a and b such that e will be exactly equal to a by b right 3.3333 this is also non terminating number but it can be written as 10 by 3 right but e cannot exponential which is e e cannot be written as a by b so these kind of numbers were introduced and these numbers were termed as irrational numbers okay so basically what are in irrational numbers irrational numbers are real numbers which are not rational numbers so by this definition we can easily observe that real number is a union of q and q complement q complement is basically the set of irrational numbers and q intersection with q complement is phi is an empty set right so this is the basic definition of real numbers and uh, sorry rational numbers and irrational numbers in this import video we will see that root 2 is not a rational number or equivalent or equivalently we will see that there does not exist any rational number whose square is 2 okay so we will prove this <coughs> again we will use the method of contradiction so let there exist a rational number p by q such that p by q square is 2 okay this is a method of contradiction where p and q are <coughs> co prime what is meant by co prime co prime means there does not exist any common factor for p and q other than 1 so p like uh, it's like 2 by 3 Or four by nine, etc., etc. Okay. So we have assumed that uh, P and Q are co-prime, and we may easily assume that without loss of generality. Why? Because if there exists any common factor between P and Q, then we can cancel that, and we have an again we have again have a rational number. Where P, uh, the numerator and denominator are co-prime, and whose square will be two, right? So this condition which we are assuming it is without of without loss of any generality. Okay. So from here we get P square is equal to twice of Q square. Okay. This is so simple. This implies that P square is even number, right? P square is even number. this implies that p is also even right therefore p is of the form 2m where m belongs to integer so far so good so this implies 2m square is equal to 2q square 
this implies 4m square equals 2q square and this implies q square is 2m square this implies q square is even this implies q is even now q is even and p is even this implies 2 is a common factor <coughs> of p and q this is a contradiction why because we have assumed that p and q are co primes okay so we have got this 2 as a common factor of p and q so assumption was wrong what was our assumption assumption was there exist a rational number p and q p by q such that p by q square is 2 so assumption was wrong so there does not exist any rational number whose square is 2 or equivalently we can say that root 2 is not a rational number why because p by q will be root 2 square uh, taking the square roots of both the sides of this expression we can have p by q equal to root 2 so there is there does not exist any rational number p by q whose which is equal to root 2 okay so this proves that root 2 is not a rational number or equivalently there does not exist any rational number whose square is 2 similarly we can prove that root 5 root 7 root 11 these are also not rational numbers by the similar methods the only difference will be here it is p square equal to 2q square if you are proving for 5 then p square is equal to 5q square so this will imply that p square is divisible by 5 this implies that p is also divisible by 5 and similarly you can proceed further and have a com uh, have a common factor of p and q and have a final result such that there does not exist any rational number <coughs> whose square will be the given number if you are putting for 5 then there does not exist any rational number whose square will be 5 okay so you can prove it in the similar way but a bit difference will be here only because even what is even it is a number is even which is divisible by 2 right so if you are putting for 5 then p square will be divisible by 5 if you are putting for 11 any prime number then it is not divisible it is uh, it is not a square of any rational number right so you can prove for any prime number any uh, irrational number which you know any uh, any number whose uh, square root is uh, you, is not a rational number you know already so you can prove for any of them 